Hi, it's Mark with Alaska Boys, and it's uh, Saturday in November, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, snowing out here next to me. It's probably in the, like, the high 20s, uh, low 30s, and we're uh, doing some projects. So today, come with me and my son. We're gonna work on some, ta some taxidermy work. So I am by no means a professional taxidermist, but I've dabbled in it quite a bit and done quite a few projects. I'll show you some of those projects, and today, my son and I are mounting his caribou horns that he shot this August. They're in the velvet. We're gonna make a plaque. We have a plaque and we're gonna mount them and so he can hang them on his wall. So behind me, you can see some moose horns. Um, so these are examples of some of the things I had. These horns were so big, they were 68 inches that I had to, uh, or 67, we, we had to cut them in half. They couldn't fit into the airplane on the way out of, uh, out of the field. So we had to cut them in half and right here, then I had to epoxy them back together and wire them. And, and so now they're super strong, but the only problem is we had a place in the house we wanted to hang them, but the, they were too wide. So now they're on the porch and uh, we may find some other spot for now they're there. I'll show you some of the other taxidermy we've done. Uh, we're getting the garage ready. We're gonna be working in there. So one of my first projects I did was this doll sheep up here. Um, I did this with my dad probably 10 years ago. That was my first doll sheep I ever shot. And then, uh, so I was super proud of it, super excited. It was not quite full curl, but that was a legal sheep at that time, seven years old. So my father, he helped me do the taxidermy work on this. This is one of my other sheep. I have shot six, no, seven rams. And uh, so here's one of them, other one I mounted. So you can see some of the work. Also, we uh, prepare skulls and can work on those to get them cleaned up and good to go. So here's some other stuff, some other taxidermy work we've done. So here's some bear skulls that we've prepared. This is my son Bennett's skull that he got this spring, a black bear. Up here we have a grizzly bear that I shot. And here is a, another black bear. So you can see we've bleached these and prepared them and preserved them here for display. So kind of fun. In my office at work I have several doll sheep zero mounts hanging on the wall. And uh, ironic thing is the first place I worked, I went and I was so excited about that doll sheep that I had uh, that I'd done with my father. And I went to hang it up, I hung it up on a Saturday night, went back to work, and even in Alaska, there were some people that were not very happy about me doing that. And that burned me, it made me really mad. There was a lot of hypocrisy, I thought, because some of the other owners of the business had uh, taxidermy in their offices, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't let me keep it up. So I was pretty ticked off when I moved to my new office. Um, it's an Alaska native organization, super cool about all that stuff. Subsistence hunting is just a way of life. They totally get it. And so um, it's no big deal having that stuff there at my work. And kind of a cool reminder while I'm working about. All right, so here in my office, I've got some taxidermy too. All right, over here, I've got um, a Euro mount that I made. And a, uh, this is a really small mountain goat that I harvest. This sheep was uh, taken in the Talkeetna Mountains. This was in the Chugach Mountains. Over here, I've got another doll sheep. This was taken in the Kenai Mountains here. Here I've got, this is a coyote skin. I was, that was trapped in the Chugach. And over here, here is a really unique ram. And um, I did all the work on this. This is taken from the White Mountains. So let's see what else we have to show. All right, so we're in Hunter's bedroom here and uh, you can see here's another thing that we've done. We cleaned up these. This is a deer that Hunter and I shot a couple years ago. So we cleared this up. He's got it up on his wall here, but he's got a spot over there above his desk. This is where we're gonna hang the caribou horns when, when they're all done. Yeah, and here's uh, Bennett's bear skin hanging above his bed. This is the black bear. If you wanna see the video on that, check out our YouTube channel. We've got, uh, got more, uh, a whole video on that. Here's a picture from my moose hunt when I had that big moose. Okay, be really careful. So these are Hunter's caribou horns. Light as a feather. All right, and also we're gonna grab the plaque, and the mount, the other things that we need. Okay, be careful. That stuff you don't want to hit it, or it can get hurt. Be very careful. Do you need any help? This is so big, I can't keep track of it all. Okay, careful going through the door. Okay, bring it on in. Careful, don't hit the door. Nice. Okay, let's just set that down on there. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do today is we have this plaque that Hunter picked out from a taxidermy supplies <clears throat> shop. 
we're gonna do is we need to cut into the skull here, trim it up. We're going to uh, anchor that onto there. And then uh, we may have to do some, some molding and other stuff. We'll put a covering over it and then uh, we'll get it ready to hang on the wall. Okay, so to get to this point, we, uh, you know, so Hunter and I were in August, we climbed up a mountain, we were up at, I don't know, what was it, 5,000 feet or something, we at the top of this mountain. Uh, we got a cool YouTube video, you can watch about that. We harvested this caribou, but we're, this caribou has what's called velvet horns. So as the horns are growing, they have this soft outer skin on it that's, that's soft to the touch, almost like velvet, that's why they call it. <clears throat> but if you, um, when you leave the field, that stuff can rot and it's got a bunch of blood in it. If you do nothing, it'll all peel off, be really stinky. So we had to take this to a taxidermy shop. They soaked it in a, in a chemical uh, bath to uh, cure that and to, you know, so now it's all safe, it's preserved. That took a month and a half or so, the whole process till we could pick it back up. And then we've just been waiting for the right weekend and to get our supplies to work on it. So, you know, a lot of the caribou you'd see wouldn't have this type of uh, sock, this velvet, but it's a pretty neat, unique uh, time of the year, so we're preserving it. Gonna be good. Okay. Kind of like dried out now. Yeah, I don't like this. I, you know what we need to do? We need to wrap this up. We don't want to get all these shavings on it. Okay, round two, we're gonna give it a go with the saw. You wanna, it's probably good, can you hold it now? So we cut here, these are the two eye sockets, I think we gotta cut right there. Okay, can I cut a little? Yeah, let me get it started. Yeah, that's fine. There we go, we got it. Okay. We gotta get this into position. Uh, over. Okay, there we go. Okay, now you wanna drill it in, Hunter. Get it on there and just get it down a little bit. We hit. All right, Hunter, where are we at now? What did we do? We've drilled these in. So now it's pretty solid, and we are starting to, get, starting to take off a little bit of the saran wrap. And now we need to put the hanger on under it so we can stick it on the wall. So we're taking off the wrap here. We have it mounted on the plaque. We used uh, four bolts, bolted in. It feels really pretty secure. Uh, next step is, after this, we are going to Put a covering and some molding over here so it looks good. We'll let uh, have Hunter hold it up and you can see what it looks like as is though right oh, now. Oh, let's uh, take this wrapping. Sure. Okay, so it's coming along. We got it mounted there on the plaque and... Oh, there's something uh, coming out of my stomach. <laughs> All right, sounds looks good so far. That'll be good on the wall. The other thing is, let's see, when it, is it wants to pull forward, right? That's good, because that means it'll hold it on the uh, mounting bracket thing. It wants to lean forward, right? Yeah. So that, that's, that'll be good. That'll help hold it up against the wall. Yeah. Man, they're big. Once you get it like this, it's going to be cool. We should put the bracket on, and maybe we could put it on your wall huh. while we're, you know, so I could put my car back in here in between doing the, <laughs> the mache stuff. All right, Hunter's bringing them into the bedroom, and uh, barely got them through the door there. And then uh, this is his desk over here. We're gonna stick him up on the wall just above his desk. We got a nail there. Why don't you stick him on the bed and then I'll pick him up and we'll hang him up there. 
So we haven't put any velvet or uh, kind of trim around there. We just ran out a little bit of time and we're gonna, we need to get the supplies. And so, so we'll hang those up for safekeeping and then we'll, we'll uh, fix it up here in a, in a couple more days. Okay, there we go. How do they look Hunter? Pretty good. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming along with this project for me and Hunter. This has been fun and um, love to have you subscribe and like our videos. We do all these, uh, do adventures like this often. We'd love to have you come along fishing, hunting, camping with uh, me and my boys. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.